donuts. Match. You go, Tom Shai. This is GBM, not GBM, T Base underscore Spider underscore UK. We're going to do the roll to League One with Wickham Wanderers. See if we can get to the high Premier League and that, but yeah. Downloading all the teams. woman All right, we're going. Let's get into it. Do 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 Yeah why not, let's get invited. Is 
serious one. Big spot, but I don't even got that sort of money for him. But I, but I can find well for him. Well, winger back or full back in. Um, okay. Full back, who are we going full back? Joe Jacobson or Ken? I'll give him a Joe Jacobson, let's give it a V. I don't have to let him understand that I have to let him go. Well, I thought I was coming. Um. Where did Potts play? What team did he play for? I think it was Millwall, wasn't it? Actually, who's QPR got? Set mids. That's it, yeah, Peter, bro. Actually, no, where's Blackpool?
Nuko 9, we need to play for Wickham.
as I go with you. I swear daylight comes too soon. Daylight comes too soon. I swear daylight comes too soon. After party, everyone roll through. No matter where I go, as long as I go with you. I swear daylight comes too soon. Daylight comes too soon. I swear daylight comes too soon. Everywhere I go, I bring a man them through. Got a shout the girl them too. I swear daylight comes too soon. I swear daylight comes too soon. Everywhere I go, I bring a man them through. Got a shout the girl them too. I swear daylight comes too soon. Bro, if there ain't a venue, lime and coke on the menu. Wanna dress cash, but bouncers won't let you. Good thing promoters, they can still get you in. Stepped in a bash, already go where I want, got a triple A pass. Got one for oak and got one for cast. Got one for mass and got one for wax. Sit down, man, need a sec to relax. If you want a photo, just need to ask. Take one with them without the flash. Head to the whip out the cash. Who's it? It's all there, man. Don't need to count it. It ain't counterfeit, man. I'm out of it.
Right, here we go. Seems to me that's good in good order. Right. Let's play. Take that freaking stupid task it thing off again. I'll go take that thing off first. Home away. It's a very nice night in this part of the world. Welcome to you. Big welcome. Nice to have you with us. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith is with me, I'm delighted to say. It's Invitational Cup football. First group stage game. Right. Uh, I think it's his heads. No, it's not. Try his heads. Alright, thank you very much. I don't know FIFA thing. Right. Wickham Wanderers. Here we go. Against Forest Green Rovers. Yeah, hi Martin. Really looking forward to this. I mean, pre season has changed so much over the years. You can't get fit out of the limelight in the shadows anymore. Huge events, televised matches, and uh, you've got to hit the ground running. Can he shoot? Oh, no, I've missed really it. Close. Great technique there. Oh, there's no finer sight than when you get that right. Unlucky. Well, let's keep it. Please message me now. What? Right. to cut out the pass and they blocked it had a crack absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here to save that shot from distance Dawson Wheeler now Samuel and now Thompson Samuel. Gonna 
Oh, again. Wanted to go for the strength in the shot, but he needed some direction. Yeah, I mean, if you don't shoot, you don't score, but he's got to do much better. Well, frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. possession they've given it away done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in and now the shot well that's a wonderful save oh that was a goal on the way wasn't it until the keeper intervened put the corner in the middle Charles Oh, he's through. No, oh, I should have finished that. Why should have finished that? Dangerous moment. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. To Allen. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Looked so promising at the beginning, but came to naught. Samuel. Now he wants to take them on. Samuel. Well, it counts as a save, but it was a pretty easy one. Well, there you go. The stats tell you the story precisely. If uh, they end up losing this match, we're going to be pointing the finger at those strikers who've uh, been so wasteful in front of goal. There's the interception. And that will be offside. Flag went up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is from Carlisle. It's a goal for the visitors. 29 minutes played, 1 0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us, and he's brought us right up to date again there. Move, 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 move. No, I was a positive on that. Got away from him. Blows his whistle. The flag was up for offside. Intercepted well. Trying the possession game unsuccessfully at the moment. It's about finding the right pass now. Allen. Dawson. And he's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle. That looks a good advantage from the referee. And now Thompson. Had a dig, but didn't really dig deep enough to get the reward. Yeah, over ambitious to say the least, that one. Referee's done very well here. He let the game go on, but he knew there was a yellow card infringement in that move, and now he's gone back and shown the yellow. Yeah, it was a definite booking. The player's got no complaints. Dawson. Room now out of the wing. We don't see that so often. Just glided past him effortlessly. Really in the clear now. The keeper stops it. There couldn't be a follow-up now. Put his foot in to cut out the pass. Probing the pass. Got to keep his nerve here. Far post cross. 
taking it on the fall to score. Well, it's a fantastic strike, so spectacular. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was, but I think in this instance, you can't blame him. So the first goal, it's 1-0. He was lucky, though. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, his manager will be delighted with him after that first half. That late goal, it tilted the, the balance. Half? They're in a good position now. Ready to go at the start of the second half. It's pre-season, of course, the Invitational Cup. Group stage one. Four on the ball. This is how they love to play on the break. He's tried to hit this one okay, too hard, Alan, hasn't he? Oh, I think he shanked it, Martin. Miles off target in the end. Goal news involving Carlisle. It's a goal for Carlisle United. 46 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. Has to clear it. To Alan. Samuel. Here's Thompson. Slip through. Real chance. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Allen. It's offside. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Joe Jacobson. Now, can they move on from this wide area where there is room? He's had a go here. That could be a game-winning moment to go two in front now. They have scored a really good goal. I think he's picked him out from that left-hand side. Wonderful delivery. Really accurate cross. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Number 20, Guiding it through. In the clear for a great chance. Oh, God, geez, that was good lucky. Effort. Not far away, but at the moment, nearly is not good enough. Well, if they keep on playing like they are and creating those kind of chances, they've got a great chance. He's coming off now. He is a defensive midfield player, but do you think he could play in all aspects of uh, that particular part of the pitch? He's certainly good on the ball. Yeah, he is. He's one of those. He's just a footballer, pure and simple, and he can play in a variety of positions. And this is his, his proper one, his, his favourite one, and we saw why today. Good clearance. It's brought the defenders a little bit of time, but not much of it because the opposition are going to hit them hard again. Is this the moment? Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. That does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. So off they go again, trying to make some sort of mark in a game that they're being dominated in. Number 20, Adibayo Akinfenwa. Intercepted here. 
Well, he's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Great save by a diving goalkeeper. Put the corner in the middle. Goal nears from Carlisle. It's a second goal for the visitors. 76 minutes played. 2-1. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found a again. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. Well, the clock's showing and nine minutes left to play. Adams. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. They could be in, behind the back line. Now he's taken it off his toes and hung on to it. Yeah, no knockdowns there for any lurking strikers. Good goalkeeping. Nicely. Going down to the last minute here. Mills. That is the final whistle. Well, at times you thought they got a bit greedy, but why not? I mean, if you're on top of an opponent like they were here today, rub it in. Well, they did. They were ruthless wouldn't they they rub their faces into the dirt and uh that is the hallmark of a top side right then yeah, it was a bit too easy that game i need to um check the gameplay No, you're going nowhere because I need you. You go for that. Okay, ping ping. Right, here we go again. 
Carlisle. What a perfect day for football we've got here. I'm joined by Alan Smith. I'm Martin Tyler. We're in pre-season tournament action for you. It's a second group stage game. It's Carlisle United against Wickham Wanderers. Looking forward to seeing some of the younger players in these two squads. The manager's giving them a run out as they try different shapes, formations, early days in terms of this season, a long season ahead. This game really is a chance for him to express himself. Two in his previous match, a clear danger man for the opposition. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Oh. Excellent header, millimetres away from scoring, really. I think he thought he had scored, and maybe the keeper did too. Oh, goal! That is a goal and a half. Well, he's beaten the keeper there with power, with accuracy, from distance. Wonderful. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. Dipped over the keeper. of width for the team to attack into looking to attack it in the middle he works so hard on his heading he needs to do a bit more work I think yeah the keepers waving that one bye bye Charles Jacobson trying to slip it through good score oh, it's come off the goalkeeper still in play that did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. He will be furious with himself for such a poor pass. And it will be mm. their throw. Keeping an eye on events elsewhere is Alan McAnally, as usual. Alan, with great vision here. Surely! Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Well, apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally there. Confirmation for you from what Alan was saying, the hosts have scored. Good vision. Now, here's no. a chance to show how good they are at corners and maybe increase their advantage. Oh, here comes the Mexican wave. The crowd having a good time. Put the corner in the middle. Touch from the defender there. No, I can't score. Shoot, I can't but flip they it. Need better shooting than that. Yeah, nothing wrong with the power. He got behind it. Behind it.
Samuel. Probing pass. It's offside. To Thomas. Guy. Oh, I'm going to get put for that. Joe Jacobson. To step in now for the moment. Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. Guy. It's good attacking play this from them. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Now the opposition read the back heel. Terrific tackle. Alan McAnally is our man watching elsewhere. Alan, what have you got to tell us? It's a goal for the visitors. Now too much on a dip it. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. That's a uh, tackle's worth another look. Ooh. Yeah, I think the boy felt that. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. Takes on the shot! Goalkeeper given an easy ride in uh, that particular save anyway. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Jones. A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Confident with the ball, he's through. Brilliantly, no, I can't drill it. That's half time. Signal by the referee 1-0 the half time. No, and go for whistle quickly. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, it was a good first 45 minutes from the lad. Got the ball rolling with that goal, and he's been central to most of the good things his team has done. away from scoring really I think he thought he had scored and maybe the keeper did right well myself a quick fag Big shout out to Lukey Tukey watching my channel, mate. Nice right, son. That was a good goal, though. The old flick of a flick of the boot. Right. Do we proceed on the second half then, guys? 
Una. Back out for the second half. Invitational Cup group stage two. And the ball is rolling again. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a oh, I've missed it. Oh, what a disappointment because that could have been the game for them. Yeah, when you're on top, Martin, as you know, you've got to make the most of it. If I could think in the back of him, go. Really stretched out to keep it out. Well, he needed every inch of his frame there, the keeper. Corner's taken. Got in the way. Rotten. Surely. And how did that not go in? Old fashioned clearance there from the defender. Or was that good? I don't know, did that not go in? I don't know. No, no, not go in. <laughs> oh, well, it's doing go in. Quick witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Got to keep the ball here under some pressure. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. The forward could be played in. It was a lovely pass. The player thought he was going to get there, but the goalkeeper's just beaten him to it. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Shot on. No way through for the shot. Blocked. Thompson. That oh, got an injury. Did he pick him off? Tops and tops and tops and tops and oh, it's been blue football. Ah, there's been some old oh, good old Scott Casket. Old oh, Scotty Toy. Shot, well, his teammates aren't too happy. And the manager's going to take him off, and the player, I think, agrees with it. He's maybe saving himself for another day just in case there's a risk of aggravating an injury yeah it might have been something that they were aware of that had been niggling him so no point in taking chances well we're two-thirds oh. of the way through the 90 minutes half an hour to go <laughs> Jones Thomas. Well, this could be an opportunity in behind the defence. Maybe not too many options for him. He went for the shot from that tight angle. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can uh, catch the goalkeeper unawares, but you've got to get it on target. I don't know if they can turn this around. Their creative players have not been at the party really today. Not been able to create the chances they normally do. Now he's got the Friends ball. The ball again. With it? Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Yes! Yeah, look at that as a goal. That was a top class goal. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Let's have another peek at that goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0 just a quick check on the clock and there are 20 minutes to go kelvin atuhu to thomas a little too eager to get in behind the opposition caught offside dog oh, away he he furious with himself for such a poor pass at the moment, the pitch 
is bearing up under this torrential rain which only seems to be getting worse well the groundsman on the sideline will be looking a bit concerned I mean it is a great surface and it does drain extremely well so it would take a lot for this game to be good vision well then it goes they had a chance really to put that into a much more dangerous area has to go down as a poor cross substitution coming up I think the cross is on going in for goal got to do better than that really to beat the keeper yeah because he is a good goalkeeper good positioning put the corner in the middle and defender can get it up field Oh. For the header, and we love to see that, especially you, Alan. But you can head it much, much better than this one. Well, you've got to be committed to those headers, and he wasn't quite. Darwin's Charles coming onto the pitch, number two, Saido Yambati. One of their better passers, and he's given it away here. Terrific tackle. Now he wants to take them on. Opportunity to cross it now. Should really deliver from this position. With the defender in the way. With great vision here. Real chance. Now he's taken it off his toes and hung on to Should it. Should finish that really, but I'm well. Lurking strikers, good goalkeeping. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. This could be a chance. Going to try one now. Well, that is a moment really to look back on with horror because they're not going to have many more chances to cut back this deficit. Yet. And there it is, the final whistle. Great day for them to win the game and uh, keep the opposition out. Yeah, job done, wasn't it? The opposition weren't at their best today, but you still have to... Be Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on. There's another win. Right. What a perfect day. Here we go. We've got here. 
Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. It's a pre-season tournament we're covering for you. This is a third group stage game. Wickham Wanderers against yeah, Lincoln, Lincoln City. City. Well, it's been a good tournament so far. Plenty of really good football. I'd expect it to continue in that vein as these players get that little bit fitter and sharper. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. That's an important clearance. Now we can check on the starting lineup. So Alan, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the. We could be in. No, that's a round. The defender sorted it out. Hopper. Well, let's break away for a moment to go to Alan McAnally, who's got news of a goal in the game he's watching. It's a goal for the home team. Five minutes played, 1-0. Top work, Alan. We're back in with a chance. A safe hands from the goalkeeper there. Not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy, though, to take it a little easy, take your eye off the ball. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. Giving the ball away now. Steered through. It's offside. That's what the assistant has said. Well, when he looks back on that, I think he might be a bit disappointed because the striker seemed to time his run really well. Go on. Get into it. Interception here. So easy in possession. Samuel! Keeper did well to reach it, but he couldn't keep it. Delivered into the box. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Hopper. Samuel, no. elasticity from the goalkeeper, wonderful agility that, really superb. He's put in the corner, he's going to punch it away now, done well. Wheeler, room for the cross, they've sucked up. A lot of danger here, but it hasn't hurt them, and now they're on the ball. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Hopper. Working the opposition over a little bit here with their passing. They've got the ball back by that interception. for the lead no difficulty for the goalkeeper that's an easy cut out oh, before the opposition saw it. the pass coming anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. They might have been in there, but the interception was inspired. And now Thompson. Got to pass the ball a bit Give better. Away again. If they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Recognise the foul, but they play on because they've still got the ball. Clear it. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. We've got two added minutes. That's it, run it. Go. I've missed it. He works so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, and the keeper's waving that one bye bye. Well, he's going to show the yellow card. That's good refereeing to go back to the original offence, having played the advantage. Yeah, you always felt that he would. It wasn't the best of challenges, that. So it 
it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal you do feel Alan as we reach half time that both sides have got a bit more to offer than we've seen in this first half because it hasn't taken us too far so far no it's been a little bit cat and mouse as they were working well, each other out so in the next 45 so things no, might open a up a bit cat and mouse as they were working each other out so the next Samuel elasticity from the goalkeeper wonderful agility that really super right. so half time done and dusted players ready to go for the second period in this invitational group stage three match. Here's Grant. Hopper. He finds some space here on the flanks. No, it took the Fletcher. I was lucky. Hopper. Terrific tackle. Luka Modric is on the move. We thought that was coming. It has been confirmed today, Alan. You're in the clear in front of goal. Goalkeeper, not really in trouble. Easy say. Go Jacobson. Thompson. Samuel. Powerful drive. Mm. Close enough to suggest... Have another go, sir. Yeah, it's shot, shot. The keeper saw it coming all the way, though. He's going to make a change, and it's clearly a tactical one. There doesn't seem to be any injury involved. Big out to my follow two followers on my channel tonight. Turnover, a possession here. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. No, I'm guys. Certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. But then it goes. Not to play. It's great defending with the block. That's offside. The referee has stopped the play as soon as the flag went up. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Thompson, a bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. No, we've run out. Nice guy. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Whipped in towards the near post. No nonsense defending. It was needed. Well, it's getting very wet down there now, but the pitch at the moment is holding up at the moment well it is and uh, it's the kind of conditions that you get mistakes in and uh, for the defenders they've just got to concentrate excellent attacking play here they could open up the opposition now well it was the final ball to set up the chance and it would have been but for the interception good pressure in midfield and it's paid off here's Grant well look at the room in which to attack In goes the cross. Didn't allow the cross to come in. The defender did well. Can come back a bit now. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Well, 
check on the clock there five minutes to go and we're still waiting for the opening goal if it comes now it'll be a decider go. arriving in the middle is in I see him. No way. Take a draw. And it's ended in a draw as the final whistle goes. A very good contest, Alan. And I guess the draw is probably the right result. I think so. Not much to choose between the two teams. Very well matched. And it was a good contest, that. Plenty of entertainment. It's reaching the semi final. Lovely, lovely. It's rich. Here we go. Switch up a bit. It's been Scott Cash gets on. Alright, here we go. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary position. And we have action from the semi-final of the Invitational Cup coming right up for you. It's Wickham Wanderers and they take on Ipswich Town. Well, the group stage is over, Derek, down to just four teams now. It's been a good tournament, hasn't it? Great preparation for the season ahead. I'm sure both teams are looking to cap it off for the final in the next few days. So we can check on the lineup today. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. A wonderful intervention. Damn. Should pass up properly. Should have crossed it really. Starting 11. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2 v 1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. And that was a very fine read. But he 
has just veered into an offside position this time. Come, boys. Jackson. Well, that is how to play advantage. The referee is given a corner. They favoured a short one here. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Well, here's some transfer news you'll want to hear all about. Carvajal has completed his move to Bayern League. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around fifty-five million pounds. That's an excellent vision. Targets to aim at. No, no one's got there. Could be a chance to break here. Edwards. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Opportunity to deliver the cross. A cross lacking guile and accuracy. Corner. Thompson. Back in Fenwa. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Looks promising this. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Goalkeeping no. from the very highest order. Lucky oh, there. Great shot as well. Great shot, great save. <sighs> Elects to go short. Useful cross towards the near post. And again. Great chance with that header. But he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over Wake the up, ball. Boys. This time he just gets his angles wrong. Just past the post. That's nice goal. Delightful pass. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. He takes a oh. right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Over it comes. Can they get in behind them? Staunch rear guard action. Well, Derek, there's nothing between these two teams in terms of possession. Can someone take control of this game? Take a few more risks. Don't oh, finish it. Finish? Oh. Well, it might still work out for them. And firing it into the area. Well, great read there to intercept. And options in the centre. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Counter-attacking very much an option. Nolan. And threading it forward. I'm in trouble now. Is it going to be? That was lucky again. Wheeler. An important interception. <laughs> and the referee is going to add on three minutes. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Real chance. The opportunity was there, but he got it wrongly. Well, even I would have scored there. He's had an absolute nightmare. Oh, go to him now. Towards goal. What a high quality stop it was. Well, look at the speed he sets himself, Derek. He gets ready and makes a really good save. He's driven in the corner. Firing it in. Crucial intervention. Oh, and so it is. The first half story has been written. Right. Right. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Jackson. 
tackling and winning the ball to boot. He has time to play it over. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Norwood. Nolan. Breaking at pace. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter attack. Not so. Might really be able to trouble them here. Crossing possibilities. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Passing it around, looking... It's got to be! How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And over comes the corner. The fist of the goalkeeper. He must finish. Yes. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a Get in, game. Charles. Now, all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. <laughs> well, we can take another look at this now. And he's connected so well with it. Generating a lot of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. Look. 1 0 then. Wicked Wanderers goal. Number 21, Darius Charles. <laughs> Substitution for Wickham. Edwards. Coming off the pitch. And will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. It's all about translate. Might be a chance here. Will he finish? No. Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Over it comes. What an important piece. Nodded straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Right behind it. The only way you can score there goes either side of the keeper. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Superbly read and executed. Well, he's almost been hassled out of play here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Possession lost, intercepted. Norwood. Dangerous looking through ball. It has to be. Oh, a degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down. And he's very, very unlucky. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So close to keeping himself onside, but offside is the verdict. Well, and that's his job, the linesman. Give those tight offside decisions and get them right. Morris. Maneuvering his way forward. Crossing opportunity. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. And he did what he had to do defensively. 
Well, there's still scope for late drama. He oh, a perfectly timed pass. And he has just veered into an offside position this mm. time. Space. No, give it away. No good. Oh, that's an interesting pass. He's got to score. And finishing there with more of a whimper than a bang. Derek, that reminded me of you finishing like that. It's just terrible. I wouldn't have done that well. <laughs> Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Not problematic for the keeper. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Oh, no, go away. A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? Putting his body on the line. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? So the corner played into the box. Just couldn't capitalize. Yes. There. Finally, we come. And it is official. The hosts are going to the final. Well, it was far from easy at times. They'll know they've been in a match today. But these are the sort of games you need to come through if you want to win silverware. They've done that now and they can turn their attention. Elects to go short. Ooh, we play Milton Keen, Dons, MK. Martin Tyler, sitting alongside me is Alan Smith. Coming up, the Invitational Cup Final. Wickham Wanderers against MK Dons. Yeah, I mean, pre-season or not, always nice to start off on a winning run, to lift the trophy, set a habit that you want to continue throughout the season proper. So, uh, a lot riding on the next 90 minutes. Now we can check on the lineup. So, Alan, 4-4-2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. And it's Thompson. He's got good support in the middle if he gets his cross in. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Here we are with the MK Dons lineup. 4-4-2, but a diamond shape is how he's gone, particularly during matches. It may be that he's going to start with a diamond today. Yeah. But I've seen this manager so often switch formations midstream during the course of a match and we might see that again today return pass excellent vision now can he take them on delivery to the far post no no one's there and the interception is a vital one probably again Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Read the play well to intercept. An incisive pass. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. He's got possession back for his team. And it's Thompson. Go 
going forward with real purpose now. Can whip it in now. Real chance. Well, oh. they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Here's the chance to get in the cross. <laughs> Stopping the cross. Important job for the defender. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Oh. Try doing a little school dribbling off. Good pressure in midfield and it's paid off. <laughs> and he's dispossessed. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Wheeler. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the oh, end. Oh, what a goal! And it could be the moment that wins the cup. Well, one half of the ground is absolutely mad. Scott Casket scores another goal. They have scored a really good goal. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Let's see the replay now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Wickham Wanderers goal, number 11, Scott Kaskett. It's a very good interception. Now Morris. This could be a chance. Well, it's nowhere near in the end, and he was right in at the goalkeeper. Yes, one thing missing, but uh, missed by that distance. Bit embarrassing for the lad. Well, they're still very much in it, but they do need to start creating more chances. We've certainly seen them being a lot more imaginative in the final third than they have been so far here. Threads it through. Oh, no. Gave her away. We'll be delighted with this fantastic teamwork. Lovely ball through. Let's have another peek at that goal. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Wheeler. Attack. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Added time coming up. There'll be two minutes of it. Here's Thompson. Intercepted well. I'll just remind you as we get to half time here in the Invitational Cup final, it is pre season, but they're competitors, these guys, and although it's level at half time, I'm sure be a real drive to go for the win in the second half yeah both teams have put in a fair amount of effort to get to this point so in the final neither we want to lose good second half coming up i think right more fact time 12 time wheeler good width in the attack here looking for a cross at the end that was a goal. They're in front, and it could be the moment that wins the cup. Well, what half of the ground is absolutely mad in celebration. Yeah, there's their goal. This could be a chance. Well, it's nowhere near in the end. And he was nice right in at the goalkeeper. Yes, one really. thing missing, but uh, missed by that distance. Bit in balance. It through. That was it. So both teams have scored in this cup final. But who can pick a winner now? Impossible.
Halfway through the Invitational Cup Final, and we're ready to go now for the second period. Here we go. Morris. Well, he's got away from him. Read that well with the interception. Shit. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. I don't think there was any doubt from the player's point of view he wanted to join Barcelona. The clubs have agreed the deal is completed. Well, it's a fairly big transfer figure, £40 million pounds or thereabouts. And uh, I think this lad won't be affected by it, though. He'll uh, be able to concentrate on his football and show us what he can do. Got to be. Oh, they mm, thought okay. they were in, but the flag has gone up. It's time for some fresh legs here. Saw the direction of the pass. Able to intercept oh, it. Really going to get put now. Nice challenge. What will the ref do? Well, decisive from the referee. No doubt in his mind that that was a yellow card. I don't know. You know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Dean Lewington and it's Thompson. No. So the referee awards a free kick. Well, that's what substitutes are for to be used, and we've got one coming on now. Oh, why well, you go behind? The of the opposition there to make the interception. <laughs> Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Go on, take your time. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. He's won it back easily. The officials are a bit concerned for the heaviness of the rain half an hour or so ago. They're always concerned whether the ball can be moved freely and whether it's safe to play in that respect. Yeah, but I think all the fans, some of whom... It's a shot! Goalkeeper able to make a save here. You see from those stats, they aren't stats you normally associate with this team. They're normally much more imaginative than this. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. It's a bit lazy in possession. Good vision. I'm not Ooh. sure how he reached it, but he did and kept the ball out brilliant. That's why this is one of the top keepers in the world. Now they do need an injection of uh, fresh enthusiasm from the bench good passing here little piece of interplay between the two can put them in front here 
Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought. But they're safe again. The decider should be. It's a fine tackle, but it hasn't cleared the danger. He times his tackle superbly. One of the backup brigade is going to have a chance centre stage. To whip it in now. The referee has indicated there will be Let's a take the lead here. Oh, Over the post. On the move and able to cut out the pass. It is the penalty shootout. Great to watch, but not too uh, easy to partake in, I'm sure. Oh, Pace, you're out. Oh, shit. So here he comes. Sometimes the players volunteer for the first penalty because if they do fail, there's a bit of room for manoeuvre afterwards to um, wipe out the end. No, oh, no way. Right. So next up to take the penalty. Mm. That's great work by the goalkeeper. <laughs> That's a good penalty, isn't it? It's time to step up. <laughs> yes. Work from the keeper. Well, he's up to the task with his penalty. So it's his turn now from the spot. Well, they've got a good penalty taker in this fella. No, oh, no. The goalkeeper. Here's the next penalty taker. Driven into the corner. Oh, how do you like them? That's a good penalty. His shootout's very testing. Well, this is the toughest moment, really. He's got to score, otherwise... Yeah, I know! ...by the goalkeeper. Well, look at the look on his face. He feels he should have done better. Ready to go. The next penalty taker. I've Not missed it. ...with the penalty. Well, you look at his run-up, and even that looked wrong. It was a poor effort. Here's the... Yes! Up he comes for the penalty. Come on, come on. Yes, come on. Flew into the net. Gets away with it just. So next up to take the penalty. Yes, we've won it. We've won it. is not a happy one for the team that Alan, we thought were good enough to win today. We did, and you have to feel for those players because they didn't have the run of the ball when it mattered. One or two decisions went against and in the end. Those factors were the telling moments. Well, maybe they will win bigger prizes. Certainly, they'll be hoping to do that. But if you're in it, you want to win it. And that's their honour today. And it's been pretty competitive, Alan, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And the, nah, the start of our season. And the first trophy. Well, a prize is a prize, and they're proud of this one. They'll be hoping for trophies of greater merit in the months ahead. But they'll go into those competitions with the scent of victory in their nostrils from this competition. Yeah, lovely moments, these. They'll be posted on social media before the players can get off the pitch. Well, you have to have the team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those right
Nu am plăcut ca nimeni. Am Going to press conference. Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. That's all we have time for now. Thank you. First game of the season. Other yeah, teams come up first in one group time. sense the anticipation on the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway it's Wickham Wanderers and they take on Bolton Wanderers well thank you Derek brilliant atmosphere here today all that hard slog in pre-season all aimed for this game first game of the season all that preparation is for this it's for this 90 minutes focus on it get the three points move on to the next one looking forward to it Cross is fired in, but absolutely no help in the centre. Buckley. Fruitful looking attack. It did look on for them, but not to be. This is how it looks for the home side. It looks pretty orthodoxly. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. Two holding midfielders sitting through the centre-backs. 
very solid look about this team. And here's the starting lineup for Bolton Wanderers. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending the lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him especially the number 10 will be can he give them the lead yes only and apply that finishing touch well the offside oh, has been raised no goal well it was close but he just went a little bit too early of a goal on the Rotherham United match Alan McAnally can he that counts it? and a goal it is the opener in this game well keep it tight that's what both managers would have been insane but now the opening goal's gone in tactics have got to change well it's a beautifully crafted goal the supply line worked perfectly there and he finishes it off with these lovely goal the opening goal of the game then Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Is it going to end up being productive for them? And crossed in there. It comes to absolutely nothing. Good use of advantage by the referee. It's with Joe Bunny. Won it back. Maneuvering his way forward. Delivered into the area here. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Murphy. Possession changes hands, the interception there. And Wheeler. This attack looks highly promising. And teammates to play it to. Wonderful chance. Will he find the net? A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. I believe there's been a goal on the Portsmouth game. Alan McAnally can tell no, us all about it. Right, well. It's a second goal for Portsmouth. 32 minutes played. Good tackle. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Has a go. Oh. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum. And he did. The referee has given a corner. And he's fired over the corner. The end product just wasn't there. Straight oh. to the keeper. Murphy it's with Joe Bunny in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here they could pick out a teammate and up for grabs off the keeper no I'll give it away again. what's the keeper doing Again, it's a decent save from Boy, the keeper. Clear it that way. Back into play. Where were his defenders? The strikers there pushes it into the net. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Nine, Murphy. It's with Joe Bunny. A bit of running room now on the wing. The fourth official has indicated well, great to intercept. Any time. Mm. And the whistle is sounded. Get it away. It's off. It's off. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. 
Well, there's never a bad time to score a goal. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. I believe there's been a goal in the Peterborough match. Alan McAvally with the details. It's a second goal for Peterborough United. 48 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Oh, he's through here! No, I've missed it! From that position, left a bit to be desired. You've just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. A highly significant piece of transfer news. This is now 100% official. Samuel Untiti has completed his move to Manchester City. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £55 million. Pounds. That's the type of money you have to pay for a quality player these days. And he is quality. Make no mistake about that. Hamilton. I believe there's been a change to the scoreline in the Rotherham game. Alan? It's a third goal for Rotherham United. 58 minutes played, 3-0. Many thanks, Alan. Murphy. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Promising sequence. He has plenty of support. Crossed in there. Well, he failed to get it away properly. couldn't keep the ball oh keep on his toe boys keep Decent on your toes with the ball at his feet they've won back the Brown, Charles. let's join Alan McAnally now because I believe there's been a goal in the Ipswich game Alan it's a second goal for Ipswich Town 68 minutes played 2-0 cheers again Alan Not a good pass. Might be a chance here. Oh, I overstepped it. Danger averted for now. Poor pass. Well, the home fans are doing their best to try and urge the players on to get this winner. Will it come? And the cross is very much on. And that's an important intervention. Look as though they want to make this move count. He's got to score! Well, a moment he would dearly love to have back. Well, listen, he's tried to hit it too hard. Just relax a little bit, focus on your technique. Substitution time it is. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for Rackington Stanley. Eight minutes remain, 2 1. Alan McAnally keeping us right mm. up to date. He's found a pocket of space. And it's played into the centre. And a half baked clearance. This oh, they've won it as well. Late drama. And now they're in front. Mm. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance. And there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Blistering shot. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Played with purpose and control. Dealing with the threat that was real. Man of the match, number seven, David Whelan. Wonderful block.
The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Mm, first game of season That's loss. It. The referee mm. brings the action to an end. Mm. Straight into prawn cut, straight into well, going into talk of the game. Here we go. Some questions regarding the match. <sighs> Just unlucky, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just unlucky at the end of all the boys, really. That'll be all, thank you. to Bristol Rovers. Show you game. Here we go. Give me a better game this time away. Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Warm welcome to you all. The football today comes from the EFL League One. Bristol Rovers against Wickham Wanderers. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to this. We've got some really good players out there, and importantly, we've got some match winners, some goal scorers down on that pitch. I don't think we'll be disappointed. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. It's a good cross. No nonsense defending from him. They can be quick on the break now. Thompson. Guiding it through. Offside, Offside. given up. Oh, I'm not sure he's got that one right, you know. I think he was on. And the lineup for the home side goes like this. Well, it's a variation on a theme, really, isn't it? What we're saying is 
instead of a back three he's going to have a back five and those uh, wide wing backs as we would call them he might be through yes That's a good start. So are his teammates. What a good finish and what a good ball through to him. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. News of a goal from South End. It's a goal for South End United. 12 minutes played, 1 1. Oh, interesting news again from Alamak. Far too close across to the keeper. Saw the direction of the pass. the pass. It's a save somehow. Oh, no oh what's he had a car for? Congratulating him. That was superb. He's going to get a yellow here. That's the earlier incident, and the ref's got it absolutely right. Yeah, hands up. He knows that booking was coming his way. <laughs> That's something for him to chase. Real chance. Saved, but not decisively. No. And it was an opportunity to stretch their lead. Certainly was. I mean, they're well on top in this match. You're just waiting for a response from the opposition. Just a chance to check in here with Alan McAnally, who's at the Bolton game. And I believe, Alan, there's been a goal that you can tell us about. It's a goal from Bolton Wanderers. 22 mm. minutes played. 1 0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Players arriving in the middle. Pushed back out into play. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Oh, Jesus! Into play from the bar. It's a very good interception. Some incredible goalkeeping we just saw there, but uh, he'll be wanting a bit. Trying to slip it through. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. Good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. Still got a bit. He might have put his teammate in here. Great chance. The goal is there. Yes. Well, that could be that's that's what we needed. can't get at them when they're keeping the ball. I'm bad. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Craig. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today. But you can see the manager down there. Guided through. Good pull one back here. Ooh. Oh no. He spurned a really good chance. Well, I just lost the head a little bit there. They've got to keep the composure. They're still in this contest. Charles. Tried his luck. Ooh. Really tested to the full, the keeper that time. Yeah, I think he saw it coming all the way, Martin. He did see it all the way, Alan, but it's still a good save. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but nevertheless had to keep his eye on the ball. And here comes the corner. That's a brilliant stop. Back it goes to the back of his heel. Neatly done. Pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. Charles. Ah! And he's given it away here. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Got him oh god here. damn sir golden opportunity now it's half time it's 2-0 at the score the halfway mark it's 
just one the, one of the occasions getting the better of them. We really expected a bit more so far. That touch hmm. map. Half time. He might be through. Oh, it's on the ring, I'll have some of my for a minute, guys. Give me a sec. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Well, the cross has gone in, but there's no one there to get on the end of it. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. News of a goal from Accrington. It's a second goal for Accrington Stanley. 50 minutes played, 2-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Leipzig opening them up with a through pass. Is he in here? Samuel, splendid goal here. It's his third goal. It's a hat trick today. He's really been on full. I doubt in his career he's ever had a more straightforward chance to score. And his eyes lit up and the net bulged. Well, I have seen the mist. From that kind of range with the goal gave in, but not often, I've got to say. One team really on their game today, the other very off colour. This is how they love to play on the break. They can't stop him. One on one, and he stood up to the opposition and kept it out. Well, you can't ask for a better opportunity than that. Should have done much better, should have scored. Could be a cross here, it could be dangerous. Proper clip goes for goal. Just throwing his body into the way of the shot. Clark. A goal from uh, Accrington. It's a third goal for Accrington Stanley. 59 minutes played, 3 0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Great interception. In goes the cross. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Keep his ball. He could take them on here, slipping it through. Played in the clear. And there it is! Goalkeeper's done well to actually get something on that. I didn't think he was going to get a touch. Exciting player, isn't he? The uh, wide man has been taken off now, actually. Um, but one to certainly follow. Oh, without question, he's got plenty of potential within him. Even now, he can improve from this. And uh, I think there'll be one or two clubs knocking on this manager's door for his services. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems. And certainly not the goalkeeper. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Opportunity now. Powers, he kept that one out. His reactions there were sensational. Substitution for Wickham Wanderers. Coming off the pitch, number seven, David Wheeler. And in it goes. It's bounced back off the bar. He's just put it off target, just wide of that post. Well, his teammates were convinced he was going to score there, I think. Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper. He's tried to hit this one too hard, Alan, hasn't he? Oh, I think he shanked it, Martin. Miles off target in the end. And there's the interception. Clever ball. All Peters out rather for them. There's a deflection. It's a corner. Here we're going to have a substitution. It seems as though it's for tactical reasons. We look at the ref. He says penalty. Didn't hesitate, did he? Pointed to the spot. 
Well, the referee has given a penalty, but he hasn't booked the offender. Well, quite often in that circumstance, you would see the yellow card produced. He might be a bit fortunate there. He's done the job, he's the specialist. No worry about the pressure or the responsibility here, and there's the goal. He's made that one look easy. I know he should score from 12 yards, but he does it on a regular basis. 4-1 is the scoreline. That's the shoot! Still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Not a nice challenge. What will the ref do? Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Samuel. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just stunned into silence. Lovely, incisive pass. Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? Floated in. Back post. A oh, sweet, sweet goal. Volleying in the cross. That's all about timing, and he got it spot on there. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was but I think in this instance you can't blame him well, it's a tough game for the team that are trailing they're out of the contest really they're just playing for pride they're really being torn apart and tackling is a real skill the referee has board shows three added minutes, three minutes of added time. now it's up Craig Hit it hard, but not very true. Well, that's it, the final whistle. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Taking home the match ball and thoroughly Good deserved. Morning, Pleasure to be here. To... All right, that is that for the night. Right, oh, I've got a press conference to talk into. See, this is going to be a bit of fun. So, how do you find your team today? Did very well, mate. Score five goals, one five one. <laughs> Just a couple of questions for you. Uh, can I talk about Alex Samuel today? Or what? After a five goal score by working, what do you think of the game? Can you? Uh, could it be more? Thanks very much. Right. Get to this next match, and that's what I'll call it. Save it first. Right. right that's been done for the night. Right. Big shout out to Luke. Big shout out to White Knight. Big shout out to Harry. Big shout out to Harry's brother, Mad Max Harry. Love Chris, my channel. Teabag underscore spider underscore UK. See you in the next video. Be safe. Look after yourself. TTF later.